the tube of landscape that enclosed him was mottled with areas of light and shade that could have been forests, fields, frozen lakes, or towns. The distance and the fading illumination of the flare made identification impossible. The flare guttered and died. The moment of revelation was over, but Norton knew that as long as he lived, these images would be burned in his mind. Whatever discoveries the future might bring, they could never erase this first impression, and history could never take from him the privilege of being the first of all mankind to gaze upon the works of an alien civilization. Denis Villeneuve has solidified himself as one of the premier visionary filmmakers in modern science fiction, delivering acclaimed films such as Arrival, Blade Runner 2049, and his two-film adaptation of Dune. Known for blending philosophical themes with awe-inspiring visuals, Villeneuve's name has become synonymous with ambitious and thought-provoking sci-fi. With the recent news that the director intends to return to Arrakis with an adaptation of Frank Herbert's sequel novel, Dune Messiah, along with his newly announced involvement in helming the adaptation of Korean author Bo Young Kim's I'm Waiting For You, and Annie Jacobson's non-fiction book Nuclear War, A Scenario, his increasingly packed film schedule has cast doubt on other projects to which the director has long been attached such as the highly anticipated adaptation of the classic Arthur C. Clarke novel, Rendezvous with Rama. However, recent comments from the director have put some of the fans' biggest fears to rest and serve as confirmation that the project is still very much alive. In a recent interview with Vanity Fair, Villeneuve was specifically asked about his numerous projects and what was his current focus. In his typical tight-lipped fashion, he didn't officially confirm his next film, however, he did offer insight into a few projects that have long been thought to be dead, saying, quote, The thing I envy in my past is that before, nobody cared about what I was doing next. No, I'm joking, but it was easier to stay under the radar, and I don't like to have a lot of projects on the stove. I like to do one thing at a time. I have too many things right now. It's true that I'm working on Rendezvous with Rama, and that screenplay is slowly moving forward, Cleopatra as well, and Dune Messiah. I'm looking forward to going back behind the camera, and we'll see what will be next. I personally am really excited to hear the confirmation that the director is still attached to the Rendezvous with Rama adaptation, and that there is progress being made even if it's slow going. Rendezvous with Rama, first published in 1973, is one of Arthur C. Clarke's most revered works, earning both the Hugo and Nebula Awards for Best Novel. Rama quickly gained a reputation as a classic and hard science fiction lauded for its meticulous attention to scientific detail and its exploration of cosmic mysteries. The story opens in 2077 with a catastrophic asteroid impact in Italy, unleashing widespread devastation and loss of life. This tragic event serves as a wake-up call for humanity, leading to the development of SpaceGuard, a global initiative designed to track and monitor potentially hazardous objects in space in order to prevent future disasters. Decades later, in 2131, SpaceGuard detects something. An object hurtling at inconceivable speed is traveling through the solar system. A space probe reveals that the mysterious object is a perfectly smooth cylinder and is enormous at 50 kilometers long and 20 kilometers in diameter. It is clear that the object, named Rama after the Hindu god, is a spacecraft built by an alien civilization. Humanity must prepare for their first contact with alien intelligence and must navigate their hope and curiosity along with their fears, as no one knows who the Ramans are and why they've come. The starship Endeavour, commanded by Bill Norton, is sent to investigate, being the only ship within range. As the crew explores the vast and complex interior, the United Planets closely monitors their progress, with a specially formed committee of scientists advising the mission and speculating on the object's purpose. The novel's plot focuses on the crew's exploration of the massive vessel, which appears to be abandoned, yet filled with bizarre alien technology and architecture. As they venture deeper into Rama's interior, the crew uncovers more questions than answers. 
Clark's narrative is deliberately restrained, emphasizing the sense of wonder and the unknown that permeates the vastness of space. Rather than focusing on action or conflict, Rendezvous with Rama is a contemplative tale that explores humanity's place in the universe and the potential and significance of human life in the face of incomprehensible alien intelligence. When it comes to Villeneuve's continuously crowded filming schedule, apart from Dune Messiah, Rendezvous with Rama is the project that I'm most excited to see as I think it is a great match for this particular director's filmmaking approach. Villeneuve has previously described his Rama film as Arrival on steroids, which seems appropriate as Villeneuve's Arrival and Rama share narrative and thematic similarities in their exploration of humanity's encounter with alien intelligence. Both stories emphasize the mystery and awe of first contact, focusing on the intellectual and philosophical implications. In Arrival, the story centers on the effort to understand the complex language of extraterrestrial visitors, while Rendezvous with Rama follows a crew of astronauts as they attempt to unravel the enigmatic purpose of an alien starship entering the solar system. Both stories highlight the vastness of the unknown, the humility required when confronting a superior intelligence, and the impact such encounters have on human civilization. Villeneuve's Rama promises to be a visually stunning spectacle with awe-inspiring imagery to emphasize the themes of the infinite unknown of space. This is also in keeping with the filmmaker's style to show, to use visual symbolism to set the tone and establish themes rather than rely on dialogue to do so. Villeneuve has previously commented on his more visual approach to filmmaking, saying in an interview with the Times of London, "'Frankly, I hate dialogue. Dialogue is for theater and television. I don't remember movies because of a good line, I remember movies because of a strong image. I'm not interested in dialogue at all. Pure image and sound. That is the power of cinema, but it is something not obvious when you watch movies today. When it comes to cinema, this philosophy can certainly be debated, as many would tend to disagree, citing many examples of great writing and iconic lines of dialogue that stick with the viewer. Fortunately, Rendezvous with Rama offers a great opportunity for Villeneuve to fully embrace his philosophy of visual storytelling. Rama itself is a silent, enigmatic entity, and much of the crew's experience is defined by their attempts to interpret the visual and structural clues within the spacecraft. The crew's journey through Rama is a succession of awe-inspiring revelations, the massive cylindrical planes, the frozen cylindrical sea, and the city-sized geometric structures. What stands out in these moments is not any audible reaction from the characters, Rather, it is the intricate descriptions of what they are seeing and their unspoken sense of cosmic wonder, which in my opinion is perfectly suited for Villeneuve's approach. His focus on pure image and sound, what he calls the power of cinema, can amplify the grandeur and eerie atmosphere of Rama in ways that speak louder than words. Needless to say, I can't wait to see what Denis Villeneuve has in store for us when Rendezvous with Rama is finally brought to the big screen. But I'm curious to know what you think about the confirmation of Denis Villeneuve's Rendezvous with Rama adaptation. Do you feel that this classic sci-fi story would be a good fit for Villeneuve's directorial style? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.